Sam in Iran. Wow, I rarely get notes from anybody in Iran. And that still is on my list of a place I would love to go visit. Okay, for a beginner, Sam says, like me, what do you think is best? I could buy an audio interface and connect it to a balanced amp, or as many others, buy a balanced DAC and connect it to my amp. I know that audio interfaces has a DAC inside, but I don't know how good it is. If you were me, would you buy, for example, a Motu M4 and connect it to a shit Ma uh, Magnius, or buy a shit Modius DAC and connect it to the Magnius? And no, I'm not using profanity, but yes, I am, because Mike Moffat and Jason Stoddard, the owners of S-C-H-I-I-T, Shit Audio, um, who make a product called Full of Shit, <laughs> just have a good sense of humor, in my opinion. So, an audio interface, as Sam refers to it, I, I actually had to look this up because I didn't even know what it was. But it's apparently, it's in the pro world. So in the pro world, which is very different than the high-end audio world, they make devices that are essentially a, as a headphone amp like the Motu is a, uh, it's a DAC, which has a volume control and a headphone amp, and I think it has a line in and out. Um, it's based on an ESS chip, and ESS makes great chips. We use ESS. It's good stuff, really good stuff. My hesitation with that is all the pro gear that I have ever used from that genre, uh, we're not talking about high-end pro gear like that from Manly or the, like the microphone preamps we buy for Octave Records. That's some high-end stuff, but they're very specific. And they're very expensive. So pre-Sonos, uh, Sonos, I think it's called. Um, those product, Behringer and all that, great stuff for what it's intended for, but it's not intended for high-end audio listening. So if it were me, I would stick to intentionally designed audio products for the home audio market. So I would go uh, with uh, the guys from SHIT that make a great DAC and a great amplifier and stick with home audio stuff for home audio and if you're going to use something over in the pro world, then you have your reasons for doing all that. And there you can use either, but probably best to keep within the categories because they are different. They have different designers with different goals who are not so interested in what we're interested in as audiophiles. So hope that helps, Sam. Okay. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.